Hello, my name is Dawn, but a lot of you call me... Spice Dawn. <laughs> yes, that is what you call me. Hey, I've had a lot of people, um, I've seen a lot of people on social media asking about our new glitter, gold and glitter, silver mini warmers. They come with the um, outlet plug-in base, and as you can see, they're threaded, so it would take the glass base, not the ceramic base. But a lot of people have been asking about this because if you've got kids, which I don't, never had kids, uh, or you're crafty, which I'm really not, but glitter can get everywhere, okay? But this isn't like craft store, craft project glitter. This is like this really thick, chunky types of glitter. Now, this is the gold and this is the silver. Now, can you see how much glitter is really on there? Let's pretend, because I'm not counting, let's say there are 2,032 specks of glitter put on this nightlight mini warmer. I don't know if it's sprayed on. I don't know if it's pressed on by hand. I don't know. I don't work there. But if you tap it, even if you rub it, because when we went to World Tour, which is like a little mini convention, like really, it's not the kind of glitter that really comes off. Okay? So, and as you see up here, it has a very rough and wonderfully textural edge. So this is like kind of cool. So like I rubbed them at World Tour because I was like, I can't fit it behind this if it's like that craft store glitter, which it's not. So I was like, whoopee, and I was telling all my customers how wonderful they are. But we're going to do something that I never do. We're going to do a reveal where Spice Dawn doesn't really know what's gonna happen because I'm a control freak and I always need to know. <laughs> Trust me, folks. <laughs> She's yeah. telling you the truth. I always need to know what's going to happen. But I don't know what's going to happen. Now think about the path of our warmers, okay? Once they get to the warehouse, okay, they're handled, they're packaged in the individual consultant or customer's orders. I'm sure there are conveyor belts involved. I'm sure there is some jiggling involved. UPS is our shipper. I've seen a couple documentaries of the UPS facilities. There's a whole lot of conveyor belts and jiggling going on there. Okay, so this little thing has had the living daylights jiggled out of it. Okay, so now we're going to go back to what we are guessing as our possible, what did I say, 2034? Two. 2032. But who's counting? But who's counting? Nobody's counting because that would be insane. <laughs> no counting. We're not counting glitter. This is just like hypothetically. Okay, so there's a brand new one. Okay, now. Okay, so what? One, two, three possible pieces. Now, we're going to dump out of the bag. Oh dear. We might have actually gotten like maybe three more pieces. This is truly a deep reveal. I'm just saying, I could live with this, okay? Like I have more hair fall out of my head in a five minute period of time. So like, if you want to take every single one of them and lightly brush it, but you can't have any lotion on your hands, I mean, you know, and it's rough and you might cut yourself, heaven forbid, don't do that. But what I'm saying is, that is nothing compared to the trip that this thing took to get to us. So like, that's nothing. And I think once the pieces that are maybe just like, like it's kind of like in a, I don't know what kind of material that would be called, but there's something that makes it stick to the glass. So for all purposes, we're going to call it an adhesive. Okay, but there's something in there that's attached to the glitter, that's attached to the actual glass of the shape of the mini. 
And to have just those tiny little pieces, psh, my customers aren't going to have a problem with that. Most of my customers eat with a grandchild. <laughs> How much stuff falls around there. So, I do not eat with grandchildren. But what I'm saying is we have to put this into perspective. These things really don't shed a lot of glitter. So, I mean, I suppose if you had a cat or something that decided to rub their body up against it, you know, in the hallway as a scratching uh, aid to itch themselves, you might get a couple pieces of glitter come off. My cats don't do that, but I'm just saying. Uh, I don't think that's a real big problem. And that was like both of these, plus that one, plus what might have come out of the bag. I'm not gonna count, I'm not wearing my reading glasses, it's not that big of a deal, but I really think we're gonna be okay. It's not really, I would say that that is like excellent. So don't be afraid of the glittery ones, they're beautiful. And I'm going to insert some stills so that you can see the difference between the gold and the silver. Because sometimes like when you look at them, you're like, oh, they're pretty darn close. Well, when they're um, plugged in, they're not pretty darn close. One is definitely silver and one is definitely gold. So if my videos help you, share away. There's going to be tons and tons of customers and consultants, team members, whatnot, asking about this. So now y'all know, and I know. Because for the first time in nearly eight years, I have done an actual reveal where I hadn't checked it out first and tried to learn everything and do everything. I just pretty much knew. Because when I took my two out, it was like not a big deal. Um, so now we all know. So feel free to share. Bye, you guys.